So since I started getting back into the habit of reading last year, I started another habit and that is taking notes on everything that I read. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do that using RemNote. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the RemNote tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to run you through my preferred method of taking notes on books that I have read. Our journey begins while we're reading. I personally use Apple Books to read, but you can use a Kindle or you can pick up a paper book too. The reason I prefer going digital is because while reading, I make it a thing to highlight bits and pieces that resonate with me. That is, if the author speaks about a new idea, or if I find something that is relatable, I would highlight it and sometimes I'd even make a small note on the highlight itself, adding my two cents to the idea. So since I started reading a book that I know I'll take notes on, those being non-fiction books, I would make a document for it in my book notes section on RemNote. I would tag it as content inbox and the reason for this is because I use something called a content inbox to keep track of things that I want to take notes of. More often than I'd like to admit, I forget that I found some insightful information in a book or podcast and I don't end up taking notes on it because I'm lazy. Keeping an inbox of things that I can take notes on during my downtime helps me mitigate this effect. To know more about my content inbox, you can check out my video on how I use RemNote for personal knowledge management right here. Once that's done, I add tags to the book title itself. This is something I like about RemNote. You can tag everything, documents and individual bullet points. We can see how this gets powerful in a little bit, but essentially I tag the document itself with the genre of the book. This way, if I'm searching my knowledge base for, say, finance, I can see all the books that I've read and taken notes on that relate to the topic of finance. Once we go into the document itself, we are met with a section called References. Okay. This is an idea I got from YouTuber Shu Omi, but basically it's just metadata which gives me details on things like the author of the book, how I heard about the book, and sometimes I also throw in the dates that I started and finished the book too. You might have noticed that all the names that show up are typed out as rem references. If you have no idea what those are, I would recommend checking out the first video of the series right here, where I go over the absolute basics of RemNote. So Rem references, why do I do this? I do this to link my notes together. Every time I come across a proper noun, i.e. a name, an object, or a location, I make it a thing to write it out as a Rem reference. Once I do that, over time, references are going to connect all these notes together, thus linking ideas which can help me later come up with new ideas altogether for my blog, my newsletter, or even this YouTube channel. Once that's done, I would go through the highlights that I made earlier while reading, and I would try to write out the highlights in my own words. I would try my best to link it to ideas that I already know too. This way I can make a connected network of my notes. Now for me, it's highly important that I don't just copy and paste the highlight as is. I want my RemNote knowledge base to be a source of my thoughts. So when I read something, I would try to summarize it in my own words. This is mainly why I take notes on the things that I consume. I like to have a storage facility of my thoughts that I had while reading or even listening to podcasts. You know, I do it that time too. Every time I write out a bullet point, I would tag it with the appropriate section. So productivity, habit building, time management, finance, whatever. I try to only note down things that I find particularly insightful, but this is something that I've been trying to work on too. I would only highlight and note down things that I actually feel like are going to make a difference to me. I won't just highlight every single thing that I read. It's easy to highlight and write about everything, but subjecting my notes through this filter ensures that my knowledge base, that is all my notes, are of high quality. That's it for how I take notes on things that I consumed. If you enjoyed that, check out this video here where I go into details about how I personally build habits. And if you'd like to know more about RemNote, check out this absolute basic series right here. Other than that, if you enjoyed this video, a sub to the channel and a like to the video would be great. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, wear a mask, and goodbye.